Kazakhstan is boosting its transit potential. As part of the Nurlijol program, the Bay New Aktau Highway was fully commissioned in Mangistau region. The Republican scale highway connects western Kazakhstan with other regions in Kazakhstan and allows to access roads leading to Russia and Uzbekistan. The cost of the large scale project is 94 billion tinge. The 600 kilometers highway meets high international road construction requirements. According to experts, the transport corridor will be used to transport up to 30,000 tons of freight per day to the seaports of Kazakhstan beginning next year. The new road will help reduce expenses on transportation of freight to the region. Previously, trucks spent two to three days to deliver freight. Neighboring Atrao, West Kazakhstan and Aktobe regions now have the access to the highway the Caspian Sea. A new bridge across the Irtish River was constructed in Pavlodar region to reduce the distance by 40 kilometers and speed up freight deliveries. With the new facility, it is not necessary for transit carriers to travel to Pavlodar, thus saving fuel and time. The important infrastructure project was implemented as part of the Center East Transport Corridor. The bridge is currently the longest in Central Asia. Up to 8,000 vehicles per day transport about 240,000 tons of freight along the new bridge by passing Pavlodar. Currently, about 5,000 to 8,000 vehicles drive through the bridge per day. The freight traffic ranges from 210,000 to 240,000 tons of freight every day. We installed the latest surveillance cameras and sensors to monitor the bridge and transmit the data to the server. The bridge is in good condition. The bridge created new opportunities for roadside businesses. Local business people are opening shops and service centers along the highway. Constructors are finalizing the Pavlodar Astana Highway, which will connect central Kazakhstan with the western regions. Construction of an energy-saving light bulbs producing plant has begun in Turkestan. A ceremony of laying a capsule of the new enterprise took place in the industrial zone of the city. The manufacturing plant will be built as part of the Kazakh-Chinese cooperation. The cost of the new project is 200 million US dollars. The plant will be built on 5 hectares of land. The project, which is deemed as unique in Central Asia, will manufacture its first production in three years. The energy-saving bulbs will be sold in the local market as well as exported to to other countries. Currently, foreign investors and the local authorities are discussing the supply of necessary raw materials. Street lights and energy saving lighting for houses will be manufactured in the factory. The company has great opportunities. We will work on orders and produce as many products as necessary. Representatives of international companies have given positive evaluation on Kazakhstan's investment climate. They highlighted the benefits and preferences provided to foreign investors. Kazakhstan is a model of stability and economic development in the Central Asian region, says Regional Director of the Committee on Eastern Economic Relations of Germany, Edward Kinsbrunner. Germany is one of Kazakhstan's reliable trading partners. We are impressed by Kazakhstan's economic development. Over the years, Kazakhstan has become one of the leading countries in the region. Nearly 85% of Germany's total turnover in Central Asia comes from Kazakhstan. This is not the limit. Modern technologies, energy-saving policy, green energy and digital transformation makes Germany strong. There are interesting joint projects in these areas which we should work together. We are willing to share our experience. New projects under the Year of Youth have been launched in Kazakhstan. The creation of a pilot mini techno park based on one of the schools in the capital was announced at the Forum of self made Leaders of the Association of Entrepreneurs under the Assembly of People of Kazakhstan. The young generation will learn about the basics of entrepreneurship and also skills in various areas such as clothing and furniture production and gardening. According to the Association of Entrepreneurs, the same training experience will be used throughout the country. At the forum, speakers discuss about the measures of state support in entrepreneurship and youth policy. The speakers also shared their experiences in starting and developing business. President 
конкретной задачи. Да? То есть сейчас, э, особенно в этом году, у нас... The president has set specific goals. This year we have very favorable conditions for the creation and development of business. There are not only promotions and instructions, but also support of specific financial resources. We aim to assist in developing mechanisms as well as attracting economic instruments. The forum also hosted an exhibition of domestic producers, artisans and youth startups. For example, a young farmer from Atarao, Tamila Razmietova, presented her products and made a proposal to the president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, to plant an apple orchard in the capital at the opening of the Year of Youth. These apples are winter and frost resistant. This sort of apples were specially grown in our nurseries. We conducted experiments and checked their conditions. Everything has gone well. In two years, we plan to get the first harvest in Astana. Uzbekistan is adopting digital transformation with the introduction of a smart city technology concept. The project covers 10 areas, which includes public transportation, education, healthcare, energy, construction, water supply, housing and public administration. The 10th item of the new concept is called Smart Mahala. As part of the project, supervisory boards were established in every district in Uzbekistan. Governors, duty police officers and members of the local parliament are tasked to address various issues professionally. According to the government officials, the new system will improve improve the local public administration. We need to establish close relations with our residents and be informed about their problems and challenges. We should be ready to provide help if they want to start a business or find a job. Residents have good opportunities to start businesses. However, our main goal is to employ young people. President Shafkat Mirziyoyev introduced a new system to improve the residents' well-being. As part of the Smart House program in Tashkent, buildings and surrounding areas will be provided with surveillance cameras and lighting. Surveillance cameras will also be installed on public transport. Utility services will be connected to online systems. Local officials are also planning to install smart bus stops. The Department of Internal Affairs introduced many technological improvements to ensure high-level security. Our communication devices and equipment fully meet modern requirements. Our offices are provided with the iPad and GPS systems. Every action of the law enforcement officers are monitored through these devices. Our personnel are provided with communication devices with special programs installed to receive the required data. All these measures will help prevent crime. The Uzbek government is implementing the smart system concept to boost the economy of Uzbekistan as well as integrate science into the production processes. Kyrgyzstan's ski tourism is becoming increasingly popular. The sector is contributing higher income to the country's economy. The Kyrgyz government decided to modernize the remote settlements due to the growing demand of ski tourism. For example, there are plans to restore the Aktyus village in the Chui region. A ski resort that was opened in the area recently has created job opportunities to the local villagers. <laughs> The goal is to create ample job opportunities for the locals. Based on the examples of Karakol Ski Resort, we see that the locals started working and the city develops due to the ski facility. <laughs> Employers will train their staff on ensuring the safety of tourists and serviceability of the equipment. Special technical and service training courses are also being conducted. Shakir Emirov is one of the employees who stay in the village. He was invited to work for the new ski facility. Здесь родные земли, все родное, все родители, все как положено, как должно быть. I had my life back in my native land and my parents are still there. I will persuade my family to come here. The air is clean. Everything is good. The ski resort will be expanded in the future with a hotel facility. The development shows that there will be additional job opportunities. Both the locals and the entire district economy will benefit from the ski tourism sector.
The Year of the Youth is set to be successful for Pavloda region as several large projects aimed at supporting young people are being implemented in the region. One of the projects allows young professionals to gain experience at local production facilities. Kazakhstan's first learning center, Bilim Wartarlage, will be opened in the local petrochemical plant. Pavloda region has always been progressive. The region is known for their talented working youth and powerful intellectual potential. Pavloda region is leading in many projects such as 1,000 IT classrooms, Bilim Otar Lege and English for Youth. Pavloda youth focus on addressing socially important challenges. This year, the young people are planning to tackle environmental issues. The local youth held a campaign aimed at saving fish in the rivers. In winter, there is not enough oxygen under the ice. Therefore, activists are drilling holes in the ice to let the fish breathe. Water freezes in the rivers, therefore there is no air for fish. To tackle this problem, we drill the ice. We are also going to fill the holes with reed. Pavloda officials are set to implement about 10 projects focused on the environmental protection in the year of the youth. President Nazarbayev said that taking care of our homeland is our obligation. This is our first campaign. We plan to implement more campaigns aimed at animal protection and preservation. Five hundred events are planned to be held in the Year of the Youth in Kazakhstan and beyond. Pavodar youth are set to take an active part in the youth campaign. Kazakh school teachers are promoting ecological culture among their students. A school in Astana held the Environmental Day campaign to demonstrate the importance of recycling. Students and their parents learned to recycle and take other environmental protection measures. At the event, students created various items from waste materials as one of the recycling methods. They also learned to rework and restyle old clothes and make them wearable again. According to the teachers, it is very important to instill environmental protection ideas from a very young age. Teachers also believe believe that environmental protection knowledge is as valuable as academic information. We are teaching environmental protection basics to our students. As part of this Environmental Day campaign, we are promoting patriotism, civic consciousness, healthy lifestyle and compassion. All these ideas are part of the environmental education of our children. The Trails of Nomads expedition members arrived in Israel to learn about the Mamluk or the Islamic warriors' impact on the Middle East history. The Kazakh explorers met the local scientists and visited various historical sites. In the mid-13th century, a battle took place between the Mamluks and Mongols in Ain Jalut, Israel. The Mamluks were the only warriors who bravely fought the deadly Mongol army. <laughs> The Kipchaks from the Great Steppe made up 90% to 95% of the Mamluk army, while 70% to 80% of the Mongol warriors were also from the Great Steppe. So our ancestors were from both sides of the conflict. <laughs> The battle was a turning point in the history of the Middle East. The Mamluks forced the Mongol army to retreat. Sultan Baybars then focused on his campaign against the Crusaders after the victory. He conquered Arsuf and other cities during a 40 days siege. After Baybar started digging a tunnel from the other side of the city, the Crusaders started negotiating their surrender. The Mamluks destroyed coastal cities to prevent the arrival of crusader troops. Mamluks also took control of the settlements and cities in the country. The warriors focused on urban infrastructure development in these localities. The bridge constructed by the Mamluks still functions in the city of Lot. <laughs> The 
почталық байланысты жылдам жүргізу керек болды. Ол үшін Kayerden, geçin, üç... At that time, postal communication played a crucial role. Letters from Cairo to Damascus were delivered in three days. Messengers had to change horses often. The Mamluks built this bridge because it was difficult to cross the lake on a horse. The bridges helped improve the communication system. There are many historical evidence of the Mamluk era on the territory of modern-day Israel. They indicate that warriors of the Great Steppe played an important role in the development of the Middle East. A Kazakh student of one of the prestigious schools of animation in France want to create full-length cartoons based on Kazakh fairy tales and epics. Dominika Kidirbaeva is looking for like-minded people who are interested in the development of Kazakh animation films. I know that there are many students, just young people, who are there are many students and young people who are very interested in animation and creating cartoons. They are people who would like to create their own projects and films. The student hopes that the Year of Youth in Kazakhstan, which was announced by President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, will draw attention on animation. The founder of the School of Animation, Thomas Debitis, agrees with Dominica. The former Disney animation creator believes that core values should be ingrained in children through cartoons. Fundamental, all the children look at animation. Animation is the foundation. Children watch cartoons, which is why investing in them is important at the state level. This is why we teach not only just professionals, but also people of high culture who are interested. School teachers are confident that today, students will create new legendary heroes of world animation. There could possibly be Kazakh cartoons on Queen Tomiris and Alda Kosir in the future. Pavlodar hosted a showcase of modern ethnic style of national clothes collection. Young fashion designers said that the source of their inspirations were Kazakh ornaments, heroes of epics and folk legends. They adopted the national elements to the realities of contemporary life. The collection includes sport clothing, grasses, sleeveless jackets, cardigans and dinner suits for men, teenagers and children. Residents in the region are interested with the collection. As part of the seven facets of the Great Step article, we have issued a collection of national clothes. It is adapted to the conditions of modern life. Everyone can try on these clothes, both adults and children, as well as guests arriving in Kazakhstan. The evening at the Fireplace Music Concert was held in Astana Opera recently. The opera singers performed music compositions as part of the Charm of Romance series. Well-known romantic ballads by Tchaikovsky, Rubinstein, Dargo Mishki, Feldman, Glinka and other famous composers were performed by experienced and young soloists of the Astana Opera. Russian romance is a type of sentimental sung poetry, which gained significant popularity among a wide range of audiences. According to concert organizer Rao Shan Beskimbirova. The romance allows the audience to experience a variety of emotions and feelings such as love sick, pain, separation, rejection and jealousy. Russian romance promotes certain aspects of love, which are beneficial for musicians. Sometimes soloists can easily sing aria or even opera. The Russian ballad is a small opera or mono opera. In one paper, a singer should convey feeling and tragedy of a heroine, as well as birth and so on. It is very difficult to show the inner state of a character. Popular Kazakh works were also included in the rich program. The Sunny Morning, Let It Sing, and Yen Le Quebec Love Story with the icing on the cake for the musical evening. <laughs> 